like drop. Keep it a stack. We just move on cause they know I got beans. They be chatting, I don't give a damn, and I'm still getting money. I'm who I am. Tryna be low, we gon' hit up my gram. If he's smart, he gon' act like a fan. Thinking you bigger, they got your head gas. Bitches slow, so I get him a pass. Like drop. Keep it a stack. We just move on cause they know I got beans. They be chatting, I don't give a damn, and I'm still getting money. I'm who I am. Tryna be low, we gon' hit up my gram. If he's smart, he gon' act like a fan. Thinking you bigger, they got your head gas. Bitches slow, so I get him a pass. Like drop. Keep it a stack, bitches move on cause they know I got bands They be chatting, I don't give a damn and I'm still getting money, I know who I am Tryna be low, he gon' hit on my grand If he small, he gon' act like a fan He you bigger, they got your head gas Bitches slow, so I give him a pass Like, uh, keep it a stack, bitches move on cause they know I got bands They be chatting, I don't give a damn and I'm still getting money, I know who I am Tryna be low, he gon' hit on my grand If he small, he gon' act like a fan If you bigger, they got your head gas Bitches slow, so I give him a pass And I just fell in love with a gangsta So he put my name in the top don't let him come to the crib, so we get it on where we at Nowadays I be ducking them cameras, and they hope that I'm up on them banners Pulling my phone, but they know I don't answer, in the hood I'm like Princess Diana I'm thick cause I be eating oats, bitch not taking shit from me but notes Wanna be me so she do my emotes and my name and I'm out so I bet she gon' choke Tell her man I'm the girl in his dreams, think about me when he brushing his teeth He gets sex and I leave him on scene, hottest bitch I'm gonna go with you Hey girl, keep it a stack, bitches move on cause they know I got bands They be trying, I don't give a damn and I'm still getting money, I know who I am Low, he gon' hit on my gram If he's small, he gon' act like a fan He you bigger, they got your head gas Bitches strong, so I give him a pass Like, yeah, keep it a stack Bitches move on, cause they know I got bands They be trying, I don't give a damn And I'm still getting money, I know who I am Tryna be low, he gon' hit on my gram If he's small, he gon' act like a fan If you bigger, they got your head gas Bitches strong, so I give him a pass Just like that, I'm a new woman. Hey y'all, I just got my hair done and I look and feel so cute. So I just wanted to come back to you guys um, and just say a few things because I just feel like it needs to be said. My last video that I made was a very, very, very emotional and it was really hard for me to put something like that out. But again, I love, you know, content creation i love making youtube videos i love tiktok i just want to be transparent and right now the, currently my breakup is just something that i'm going through in my life um some days i have good days some days i have bad days that day was just a bad day for me um but every day isn't a bad day like i'm not about to jump off the ledge like you know, I'm just really hurt, you know, because of the things that happened. Also, want to be very clear, like, the only person that I've, like, fully went into detail with is my therapist. I haven't really went into detail with anyone else about anything that happened with my breakup simply because of the things that were said. But I'm on this journey to heal my heart um and you know i'm also on a self-love journey I, i'm not saying that when someone's not ready to end something they shouldn't end it there's a lot of reasons why i feel the way i feel and again you know i spent seven years with someone you know seven years i thought that this was my person like i wouldn't have wasted so much time had i knew the truth you know it would have been easier to walk away had i I known the truth but unfortunately I didn't find out the truth until this year um, so that's why it's just so hurtful um, I don't like what he did you know and, and that's okay I don't I feel like I deserve a better outcome I feel like I was too good to him like to to, to have to have to go through that I to have to go through this I think it's easier you know to hear the truth and someone do it in a respectful way you know I feel very disrespected like I felt very disrespected I don't like to think the aftermath of what had happened I don't like
like the talking that was going on like there was just a lot that happened and was i perfect no did i contribute to a lot of the reasons why we ended yes i did i never said i was perfect but i've always been respectful and anytime I had a problem with him, I came to him. I didn't go to other people. It's a part of my journey and you know, I know things are gonna get better. I feel like even though I wanted my relationship to work, I know that what God has for me won't miss me. I do feel like um, I needed this to happen. I was way too comfortable in my relationship. I was way too comfortable in general. Um, I felt like, you know, I had him in the bag. I felt like, you know, and that's another thing like even my friends like i would tell my friends like i feel like every woman deserves to be loved the way he loved me you know I, i'm literally bragging and boasting about my man like i was my man my man my man and then my man went in a room full of people and made me look like a motherfucker fool so i'll never be my man my man again i'll never be loud or wrong again you couldn't pay me my next relationship baby i'm quiet as a mouse because you don't know what's being said about you behind closed doors for real like i will never my man my man my man again because i feel like i'm gonna learn a lot from this situation and i feel like you know at the end of the day god got me baby God got you, girl, and I, I needed this to pull me close to the Lord. Like, the Lord is just showing me so much. He's revealing so much to me. He Miss Carrie Day, and I'm coming back to you today with another video. So I'm just gonna finish off the vlog from yesterday. I told y'all I was gonna come back to you guys. I wanted to just show you the little pieces that I've added to my home decor. So since the last home decor update, I've gotten a rug, I've gotten a TV stand, and I finished off the decor on my bookcase. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. And I'm just gonna have a little lunch and then, yeah. Fix me some lunch and I love this Trader Joe's pasta. So I am going to show you guys the pieces that I've added to my decor. Um, I'm ordering an Amazon cart today. I've been here for a year and I have not finished decorating, but all I need now is bar stools, my entry stand for my um, hallway pieces to go on my um, TV stand and my what you call it and my entry stand and then I'm going to redo my bedroom and I'm just going to get a new comforter and put some mirrors up on my wall and then I'm going to be done decorating y'all. So the rug I decided to go with and it's this like jute style rug and I got it from at home and I think it's really cool. So this is the rug I've decided to go with. And then this is my TV stand. And I'm gonna put some decorations on top of it. This is the final look and I'm gonna hide the cord to that TV there. I'm not done with the bookcase yet. I just wanted to see what all the items that I needed. So I'm gonna put this in the entry table and I'm adding some more gold um, to it. So this is just my bookcase. just this little table thing I got from Ross and I just think it's so pretty it has like gold handles and then I have my roses on here and then I have a candle and then I got this pumpkin but this isn't going to stay here um I'm actually going to put hand washing dish soap up here so yeah hey y'all we've been on our zoom i've been posting back to 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 back but today we're coming with a vlog i know you guys like my vlogs 
so we're gonna do a little vloggy vlog today um, y'all and we're at 296 subscribers so four more subscribers we're gonna be at 300 i'm so excited and then on my tiktok i'm almost at 10,000 followers and i'm so excited and i think that my content has just taken a turn and i'm being more authentic and i'm being more open with like my day-to-day -day life what i'm doing what i do and i think that i'm being relatable so it's coming off of my content and i'm growing on my zoom and i love it for me so yeah let's go $14 for a smoothie. I get it, it's black owned, but $14 for a smoothie? $15 for a smoothie, I can't get over it. It's kind of why I stay in the house. Because just be prepared to spend a grip of money because they're just crazy it was really good actually and i was scared because they didn't have the sauce that i'm used to but their sauce was really good and really hot and i liked it so i would definitely go back so now we're at home goods i'm at home so here's a gold pumpkin and i think this would be so cute i don't want to decorate for um, I don't know. I kind of do want to decorate for Halloween. I don't know. I feel like I can get little touches of stuff to like decorate for Halloween. I'm not like a, I'm not a, um, holiday decorator. Holiday decorator. It's just something about having to take that stuff down that irritates me. So I'm really not into holiday decorating. But I'm kind of in the spirit this year. So I may try it. I've never done it before. So I may try it. This is $14. And then we can also see this. Also see this. Little pumpkin. I think I'm gonna get like little touches of stuff. So I think I'm gonna get this and I think I'm gonna go back to Ross and get that $12 throw. It's really cute. And they have the pink ones, you guys. I used to be so addicted to pink, but it's kind of just worn off on me. This looks cool and it goes with the aesthetic of the house. This, I don't know. That gold pumpkin and maybe like a few other things are really gonna be it. We are not about to go overboard. And I do want a new flower pot. Like, I'm sick of the one I have. I think this is cute. Cute. This is cute. One color. It's like this brown color. And you guys know my pillow is kind of similar to this color. And I just think it, it'll go so well with the couch. This is $24.99. So I'll definitely get it from Ross if I get it. Because it's cheaper. this pillow I like this pillow better I 
Okay, y'all, all this shopping got me hungry. This little boy right here, he keep walking back and forth. Like, what you over here for, baby? This is a shopping center. You supposed to be shopping. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna pick up when I get back to Kroger. So I'll see y'all in a few. Almost did not get up and finish this video, but I have to finish it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got while I was out today and I'm in my robe. I always get questions about where I get this robe from. It's from Ikea. So it's like the waffle print robe from Ikea and I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys what I got and then I'm going to close out this vlog because it's gonna be a long one, you know? So I try to keep my vlogs at least around like 30 45 minutes you know i'm new to youtube so I, have, I know you guys like vlogs and and all that good jazz and yeah let's just get into it we're gonna start with the first bag from home goods so First off, you guys know I'm on my weight loss journey, so I got another one of these. I had a pink one and I was in the gym and it freaking broke. I, um, Benji keeps making these crazy noises. I don't know what's wrong with him, um, but it's actually bigger than the one I had, but I need this for the gym. I need this to drink throughout the day because I want to drink out in the water a day. So I got that from Ross. So I also got this. I showed you guys this in the store because I think I want to like decorate for the fall. So I know I'm going to get a new throw. I'm probably going to go to Ross and get that throw that I saw tomorrow. That saw. And then I think that's all. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go overboard with the fall decor because again, I don't really like fall decor. And then I got this for Benjamin. So it's like a little bone. And this is gonna be for all his toys because he has a lot of them. And I just want to get them out of my way, but I also needed to match the aesthetic of the house. So this is cute. And I'm gonna put, and then I got another Oh my God, I got another candle. These little candles from Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, they smell so freaking good. So I got one of these and it's called Almond and Chef's Kiss. And I got this for my kitchen because I'm gonna put um, a dishwashing liquid and a soap on top of it and put it like right in front of my sink. I think that'll be so cute. Egg. I got some more pillows because your girl is sick and tired of the flat pillows that I got. So I got some more pillows. It's just becoming annoying always buying pillows. But I think these are going to be super comfortable and I paid $24 for them so I didn't buy them. And then I also got this y'all. So I be seeing the Stanley Cup but I refuse to pay $70 for a cup. So I got this and I'm gonna take this like when I'm on the go, I'll take it to the gym, I'll take it to work. Just days I don't feel like toting this around, I'll take this. Um, so yeah, I'm super duper excited. I've been seeing the Stanley for a while and I always was like, well, you'll need that. But I've been influenced 
so i got this from marshall's for 16 dollars not bad and then i got some more stuff too this marble thing i feel like it can be used as a charcuterie board or i feel like it can be used as the core and i'm gonna put this on my counter and i'm gonna put my roses and the candle on top so i'll be right back and i'm gonna show you guys how it looks that's all i have here so i guess i won't just end the vlog here um i guess i'll take you guys on my day tomorrow which i don't think i'm really going to be doing much tomorrow I hey puppy this is my puppy his name is benjamin he is a bichon poo so he's a bichon frise mixed with a toy poodle and he is a spoiled brat um he spends all my money and he is just spoiled but i love him he's my little sunny son all he do is lick do y'all let y'all dogs lick y'all in the face in the mouth I let him lick me on the ear, but we don't do anything else besides the ear because we're a black family over here, okay? <laughs> but this is Benjamin. Say hello. He's eight months old. I've had him since April, so I've had him for a while, y'all. I've just been so inconsistent on YouTube. I haven't been able to like tell you guys about my pup. So this is Benji. He is getting so big. It's time for him to get a groom now he looks so much better when he's shaved say hey benji benji say hello say hello say i love me mommies say i love me mommies he loves my hands he loves to bite on my hands he's such a good boy you're such a good boy he know how to sit he know how to do paw and he's my love of my life. I love my bitty man. I love my bitty man. Okay, I think you want to get down. Asthma. Like, Benji is definitely an expensive dog. So, y'all, I'm going to end the vlog for tonight right here. I'll come back tomorrow when my house is cleaner and I can do more, like, aesthetically pleasing content. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for following me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm, I'm not going to use her app. Okay, y'all. My friend is showing me how to use this day app. Because I'm like a granny. Okay, so age. Anything you want to know? Like height. Do you want to see the guy I'm talking to now? Yeah, I do. But wait, let me show you. Oh, okay. I'm not saying talking to. I'm saying conversating with. Because we're definitely not talking. Oh, my God. So if you like any of these, like if you like that he plays soccer, like it. If you like oh. that he's been to Alaska, like it. But what it'll do is it'll like that and then you move on to the next person. So if you like something, like if you like that he's been to Alaska, once you click heart, it's gonna go to the next person. Oh. And then here's your ex if you just don't want him to do with him at all. There you go. See, Easy. mm mm. Easy. Easy. Okay, now look, okay, this is my inbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. So this is the guy I'm talking. This is how you know at this point I'm just desperate. <laughs> no, I'm not letting you do that. I gave him my number. Okay. We've been texting. Okay, well now you can do that to him. Unmatch his ass. What? I was just bored. I just bored. bored. Not desperate. And though. then he don't got a job. He's like he looking for a job. <laughs> I just be bored. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so he said one thing I love to know about you is what song makes what song makes you feel like you? What, what song makes you feel like you? So you hear a song with I'm a diva by Beyonce. See? There you go. Okay, no, I don't like the way he looks. Okay, are just because it's telling you to match these people, are these people liking your stuff or are these just random people? Okay. Because I don't want to like these people's stuff if they never liked none of mine. That's, That's desperate. Point. No, it's not. That's Hell, I'm already talking to a weird looking white man. Yes. Like, okay, no. This is The point of this is to pretty much shoot your shot, but you're doing it in a like cutesy way with liking their stuff. Mm -hmm. No, they do not automatically like your stuff first. Now, if you match, so if you like his stuff and then you match. It's telling me to send it. 
likes and the like. Do you like him? I mean, like him. he said he was an engineer. Okay. I mean, he got to. Oh so if, my God. If you see, you need to ask him. <laughs> I definitely not like him. Okay, so go back to your messages. I'm teaching you how to do it. Oh, okay. So your messages are here. These are people that like you. Well, so at first, when I first got on there, I was just liking stuff, and that would make them say stuff. Yeah. Like, that means y'all match. Oh. So you liked his picture, he liked you, y'all match, and now he's talking to you. And that's the thing with me, like, I don't, I'll match with people, like, I'll heart it, but then if they don't say anything, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, you got like 24 hours to say something. So then how I, you unheart it? If you don't want to match with them, then you go here and then you unmatch. Oh. So I give them 24 hours to like match with me and, or say something. If they don't say anything, I'm unmatching. 24 to 48. Look okay, at Rejoice. Choose your first date. Hiking, make a dinner reservation, a nice restaurant. His name is Rejoice. This man is 38. Okay, y'all. So I just got back. So I'm gonna close out this video, y'all. Um, I'm gonna close out this video. I know it wasn't that good of a vlog, but I'm gonna make sure I edit the heck out of it. Um, but yeah, so I was showing you guys earlier. I'm on this dating app, and I'm just like really nervous i don't think that i'm ready to like hop back into dating like full force um i think that i'm a little nervous um i don't know i just think that I, I, the breakup really took a toll on me it really took a toll on my confidence um i don't know like what if someone thinks i'm fat what if they think i'm not pretty you know so i'm not like totally into dating especially online dating i feel like maybe it'll be better if i meet someone in person that way like you see me i see you so you know what you're getting yourself into so like on the dating site i uploaded like selfies and i also uploaded like full body pictures i want you to see that i'm not the skinniest okay i just am so insecure um after my breakup that i don't know i'm just afraid of rejection and i don't know i think that's the most that's the most honest reason why i'm not like trying to like just take dating online seriously because like when these men ask me on dates it's just like i'm scared like i don't want to show up and you not like me i don't know I feel like the breakup take took a big toll on my confidence and yeah I hate that I've allowed someone to make me feel the way that I feel about myself um but I feel like it's a learning curve it's a learning journey but it's tough but I don't think I'm ready to date um I feel like I'm still healing. I feel like there's still things that I need to work out within myself. I need to get over. And then maybe I'll be ready to date. Um, but I think I'm also lonely. You know? I think I'm lonely. I think I'm used to having someone. And I need to realize I'm lonely. But I'm not desperate. I'm not desperate to talk to anybody. So I can't just be talking to anybody. You know, I'm very intentional on the type of man I want next. Uh, so, I'm going to end this video, y'all. And I'm going to keep y'all updated on my dating app journey. My friend showed me how to work the dating app now. So, I know, like, if someone, like, she showed me, like, over 30 guys like my pictures. Even the pictures where I was showing that I ain't skinny. They was on my body. They was on my body. Yes, I was like, oh my God. They were liking the pictures where I didn't have a filter. Like, where my belly was showing. It wasn't showing, but you could tell I ain't skinny. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> they was on my body on the pictures. <laughs> But it just felt good to feel pretty.
pretty, you know, for guys to be telling you you're beautiful. And I know that you should know all these things, but I think that my confidence has been like stomped on. <laughs> So I just need to love myself more. I think self-love is the best love. And I'm working on that. This is a journey, y'all. And journeys are always like, every journey is different, you know? So thank you guys for coming back to my video. I really enjoyed you guys. Um, our next vloggy vlog is going to be up next week. We've been on a Thank you guys for coming to watch my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.